This is a training in oyster mushroom production at Forex. So these are participants from different segments of life. And that is the substrate which is made out of sawdust. Usually sawdust from fruit trees. Or edible trees is, is the best. Commercialization is very important in places like Cameroon where there's food security issues. The sawdust has to be very smooth, so unwanted particles have to be sorted out as it's been done. This is corn flour being poured in the middle of the sawdust. <laughs> white wash? Yeah. It has to be crushed. Oh. It helps to add nutrients to the substrate. Yes, so I, when it when it's like then we make it. That's the fungicide. This 
zwei Bäuche bin ich gerade so ein bisschen Water is going to be sprinkled on the substrate. It's not poured. So this is the drum to hit the substrate. So why are you guys using twigs? Not real big firewood. Eh? We're talking about cutting first today. Yes. And having regular available materials, yes. so you can. If you have this one, good and fine for you. If you can afford the. Yeah, you have the recycling, you see. We are in the really garden. Good, good and fine. Okay. <laughs> so it's quite innovative tweaks yeah. from the mango tree. Filling of substrates. This is from here that the mushroom is going to germinate. We have to cook for three hours. The bags will be placed on this wood yes. and it's going to be cooked for three yeah. hours. There are things that what about we, the walls? There are materials that we put on the walls. Okay. The walls. Like towels? Yes, we have towels. Well, we are the ones that adopted towels. Okay, this is okay. not for the rocks. Yeah, the, 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 the sacks are motors, they too. So each time we use, we have to cook. So we decide to use about to recycle. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It means this. Yeah. 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 So the reason we are trying to split it is so that we can they can have enough space to be able to boil because we really need to boil well and we are going to be cooking for three to four hours. So just. Uh, so that you don't get too scared, you don't need to be yet for the four hours. We can cook and then tomorrow you will come and continue the process. Okay. Then after cooking, what we are going to do for those of us who will be left behind, we are going to remove them from these drums here when they are cooked. And we will line them up on the shelves so that if there is any accumulated water, the water can drain. Because we are trying to create a dry forest floor. So, we will line them up on the shelves, and after lining them up on the shelves, we will keep them there all through the night. And tomorrow we will be back here by 9.30 to start planting. We will plant our seeds and put our names on it, so we can see which one grows uh, better. In okay. one month, you can come back. Yes, in one month, you can come back. So, we are almost at the stage of the cooking of the substrate. And after the so, uh, shadow planting now, and from have, planting, uh, a bag you harvest. Mm -hmm. yes. So these bags, these are thank you. These those things now and place them inside here.
Then we keep on adding, adding the water. Uh -huh. We start checking when the water the, it, it, is a little boiling. Time is Yes. Okay, that one is yes. sterile. This so, one is sterile. Yes, that is the one that we oh, just want to understand the process. Okay. So you have to mulch it with your fork. Okay, so not to bust the, your okay. pepper. Okay, well, I'm really interested in this to see what happens. Okay. <laughs> So it's almost like semi-tilling. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is the process of planting of the seeds of mushroom, oyster mushrooms on substrate that have been prepared and corn flour, sawdust, the ends. Whitewash, fungicides, corn flowers, yeah. So it's quite rich. Yeah. I'm using a fork to do that. Okay. Okay. That one is the one that fits on the tongue. Okay. And one, two, one, something. I want to break the sit down. You more the sit down. Make it up like you don't feel them. No, no. So, you more the sit down. Into your structure. See which is what. These are the seeds, yeah. mushroom seeds, the whites, mm -hmm. the whites. And they're going to take how long to germinate? We have uh, three weeks to one month. <laughs> Depending on the climate. The moisture of the substrate. Okay. So then now we have to tie it. Yes, we tie it really hard like this. See what I'm on it. Yes, my tie. Yes, my tie. You want to have a lot of fruit there. You want to have a fruit. Okay. Now, what you are going to do, you take your fork and you create holes. Good day. Thank you very much for talking to people, places and events and the African Center for Community and Development. You are organizing a workshop here on mushrooms. Uh, what is it all about? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, uh, my name, I'll start by giving my name. Uh, yeah. My yeah. name is uh, Stella Asara, and I am the coordinator of this organization organizing what's going on there on oyster mushroom cultivation. My organization is called Forest Resources and People, or you can call us for it. And, uh, we we have gone into mushroom cultivation for two main reasons. One is for food. You know, the whole world talks about food security, food insecurity. Mushroom is for food. And you can grow your own mushroom for your personal food. You can grow mushroom to give to somebody for the world. It's very rich in importance. And 
we can also grow mushrooms to, for income. It's very, very good for income. People can, you can establish a mushroom farm and you sell and you make good money. So it is our desire for it. Um, in our community service, we give trainings to people on a very subsidized cost. And uh, we love to collaborate with people who can also take it and train other people. It's our pleasure that you can take and you can train other people. All we just want to say, one day you tell us, ah, what I learned here, I have learned my mushrooms or I have trained other people. And we, la we love ripple effects of our training. Thank you very much. So what are the challenges you are facing? The challenges are we... We should be even going to people who, are, who cannot even afford any cost, any cost at all. Like uh, the IDPs, that's usually our uh, youths that are idle. They don't have women. anything to do with women, exactly. But for now, we don't have enough funding to do that. So when we organize this, as I said, as subsidized cost, we ask for a little sum of money so that we can buy the materials. The materials are expensive. We can buy the materials and train for free. But we look forward to having money so we can train all this class of people for free. And we're going to be happy to do that. The main challenge is Perfecto. funding. Thank you very much, Madam Stella. Asaha. Thank you so much. For talking to the African Center for Community and Development. And it's a privilege for us to participate in your knowledge sharing platform and workshop. Sure. And we hope to reach um, more stakeholders with what we are going to learn from you. Yeah, that's what we desire. Thank you too very much. Cheers.